That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The well, one me who went and shot him. It seemed like he deserved shooting. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. I gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in in strawberry. What do you know about strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence. Hi, guys. Welcome boy. to the stream. Boy, it's a good thing. I'm going to see a Red Dead stream. Sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence. On your mother. Arthur, you're a bad influence. John character is a bad influence. You know that. You're a bad influence. Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the wild west? Sad and grown. Not so much. Valentine, boy. Odi. I've been reading about knights. You know, other than that. For three or four years, I read. What's his name? There's King Arthur, and there's Sir Lancelot, and the Lady Guinevere, and a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So I. I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. சாதாரண மக்கள் மாதிரி வாழலாம்னு நினச்சிருக்காங்கன்னு நினைக்கிறேன் மேக்ஸிமம் வேலை தேடி வந்திருக்காங்கன்னு நினைக்கிறேன் பார்க்கலாம் Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy, we was robbed. A few mm. days ago, lucky to get out with our lives we was. Now, uh, well, <laughs> we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about it. Got a it. wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. Well, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay.
Dark Trophies ah. Malay Bells Pandrik lah, saya akan bawa turun. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, how you getting on? I found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. Abigail. Chalwani, where I tell you, no thing, the whole long. Pretty good, Milton. Good. You ride slow now. Gettys don't want his goods damaged. Of course. Ranch itu boleh. Ranch means ranch na itu ni jarak. Tolong umur guna ni. Maybe. Thank you for the three likes. इसलाह आतर और कुदरी ये रंगरों No, sir. 
I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We'll all work. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, <laughs> when's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. So let them Come on, D. Come back here. Hi, bro. Hi, bro. Hi, bro. Go easy on them. We can't have trouble here. Yeah, you could work. अरे इधर ये वाला नोड अंडे एक राइड दूर वरिंग है चल लता नो ये यू सेटी बेटा कुत्रे ओले ये यू उनके मटन नो क्या तो इधर आओ ना लोड़ा फामो। तो नाम लोड़ा फाम था ना। Thank you, Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie, work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work, we'll work. I can do anything. We got. We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. Work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother, he tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> What does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just, please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah, makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a. A little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. 
We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Oh, that's even another video. Cardi ki wala puna thiri na or ranch gal ondi hamna ta. Ani na. வேலையாக்கும் John, Jim, Milton. Thank you for the opportunity. Sir. John, Jim, Milton. Right, Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey. Hey. Get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here. Something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, chores. Is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, I believe it is. Do you mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we uh not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no. You sure? Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton. Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I got to go. Jack, I'm like no male like here. Come on out and lend a hand. I was going to milk the cows. I'd be. Oh, I'll do it. You hey, are going to milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was uh I'm a ranch hand. A new one at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It's about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Oh. Where are you from anyway, partner? Around, you know, up north mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But Pallar edukkanum. It ain't as wild as it once were at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't you personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Now. Yeah. Just a ranch hand then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Here's the cows. Hey, 
Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Yeah, but most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Hey, sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. <laughs> you got the hang of it. Almost got a pail full. Paul got a good stand. Hey, Paul. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're going to make a dairy maid of your Paul yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all got to earn That's our keep. Enough, Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. How old are you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's got to be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Jack, I'm going to go to the house. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try to get a couple of tangles. Hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Coming. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Ew. Hold on a moment. This is a dog's work. You almost got me. John Marston, the terror of the turds. Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Shit. 
pursuit of the better life you want? Same as I've been? Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Put some coffee on. Milton, can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. <laughs> can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Yep, there's plenty more to do. Pound it in there, we don't want it coming down. Don't tell me you can't swing a hammer. Okay, again. Good, now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Now, lift up the other side. I gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. Doing all right. Okay. And that's it. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Son, hurry, hurry. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? 
Uh, just the basics. Don't make him mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on! Move! Oh, shit! I'll get him! Get a rope on you, Milton, and try and calm him down. I gotta build that! Shoot! Shoot!
Just keep on him, Milton, and try and calm him down. Not the fence! No! No! Thank you. 
one. Good. Stubborn, ain't you? <laughs> Let's go. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. <laughs> my pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. Cleaning at the doctor's office. Bye. Bye. <laughs> no, I'll say it don't tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Papa, I need a dollar to go. I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to full, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, huh? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Oh, well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, 
business. Oh. Uh, okay, then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get two. Thanks, kid. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, oh, yes. Hey. Yes, I do. Easy now. Pretty big one. That's Whoa, Jeremiah. None of that. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh. Some more on their oats, didn't they, boy? Calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Settle down, okay? I'm gonna take him out first. Burn some of this heat off of him. Easy okay. now. I'll wait in the corral. There, there. Easy. <laughs> Relax. Let's get a lather up. You got some energy? Show me that. You won't get much of a sweat on him in the ranch. Come on. Let it all out of you. The energy is going to be a little bit of a little for you okay get on up there and go nice and slow stay calm me the horse you're calm my heart's beating a little keep your voice calm and your legs strong don't let old jeremiah sense fear I won't. doing fine I didn't think real nice not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse we can ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... but... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. Free fire and install one, eh? I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you.
ஹாக்கு போட்டு போறவனுக்கு தான் காண்கிறார் போவானுங்க நேர்மையான போக மாட்டான் I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my Thank husband. Thank you, Mr. Milton. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. It's over here. Will you help me, Mom? Milton? So... You know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. Oh my god. Where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just to stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Got him. Okay, mm. now hold on. And pull. Okay. Get hold of it again. Come on. Okay, well, I think she's well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh. You're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah. We we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm I'm busy. Uh, t- too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. அடிச்சு உடைக்கும் சார்தரலாம் விளாட ஒரு மாதிரி இருக்கு நீங்க கூட ரைடு நினைக்கிறேன் Dickens sees clean through John. us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? He's been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. How you doing? Ah. Fine. Can we go home? No. You're Stay calm. Where would you like to go ride aside from home? I don't know. But maybe that stream. Good idea. Now you know. Stream my anger again. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick oh. and a... Bunting. Now let's slow it down. 
Whoa, boy! Why don't we speed it up again? Okay. Come on. See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. Slow, Jack. Slow. Easy there. So bad, sir. Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. Let's bring up the pace again. All right. Racer. On my go. Go. Hey, come back here. You'll have to catch me. There you go. Your horse is much bigger. And you're much smaller. Like a jockey. This time, whoa! But we both rode hard. And you're riding. It's gotten a lot better. Thanks. Hey, you keep practicing your riding. Sure. Rich. The guns won't get down. <laughs> you want to watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How fancy pants get is paying you to be tough. <laughs> 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 he me to keep the place clean. Oh. So he had some problems <laughs> with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> no! Oh, oh, come on, get him. I'll kick his head in, Bob. Oh, Mr. Milton. Oh, Mr. Milton. Oh, Mr. Milton. Oh, You couldn't clean my boots. It's like that, huh? Oh, he's licking you, boss. Get 
Daddy spends on women, saves on hands. Ford. Ati, chowt chowt nadi. Boss, body or a rip for the He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in a brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. Why, why not you want to come along? Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will you? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Now, dear, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. What was that? What are you? What are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Oh, Jim, you gotta do something. Two of them by the stove. We got Tom. It's over. It's a rich man's. Who's this? New hand. <laughs> You're that tough guy they just took on. Yeah, I heard about you. I'm about ready for this son of a bitch. He's out. They've killed Mr. Tobert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim, I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Yeah. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you 
What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Oh, Getty, it ain't real good to us. We, I. What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. I'll leave the way. This is going to be the last we hear out of them. I'll leave the way. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. One around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah. There's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep. Tom, you head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. சுட்டானா இல்ல ஓ ஷாட் கன் மாடலோ அதுதான் அவன் வந்து ஒரு மாதிரி தான் இருக்கும் அந்த ஆர்த்தர் செத்த போறவே இவனை லைட்டா ஆர்த்தர் மாதிரி கொண்டு வர பாக்கங்க ஆனா இப்படி நடக்காத நான் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டைம் விளாடும்போது ஆர்த்தரை வந்து மைக்கை வந்து தலையிலே சுற்றுவோம் பார்த்துடுங்க அப்படியாகும் சார் ஆனால் லைவில் நான் விளாடும்போது வித்தியாசமாக இருந்தோம் மைக்காவை அடிச்சு கீழே போட்டுருவோம் மைக்காவை சுடலான்னு கன் எடுக்க போவோம் இவன் தடுத்துருவோம் டச்சு தடுத்துருவோம் அதுக்கு பிறகு ஆர்த்தர் தானாகவே படுத்திருந்து அவனே தனியாக அப்படி செத்துற மாதிரி கணிப்பாங்க
ஆர்த்தரை ஒன்று நிஜமாக கொன்று விடும் ஆர்த்தருக்கு ஒரு ஃபேமிலி மாதிரி வச்சு அந்த மாதிரி கொண்டு போயிருக்கலாம் ஜான் ஆர்த்தர் வேற அவள் பேர்னா சேடி ஆடலாம் This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah. <laughs> that weren't nothing. Well, you. No, oh, correct, you. correct. <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. We'll do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be a service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. Bring up your own and I get ready. Need about the letter. What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Payan and Gadu play around. Look, just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. GTA file la vande oru idu kodutanga. Munadi Trevor la na mic la kandipa kollanu la. Adikappra vande moonu erme kaapathra mari or ending kodutanu ga. Ana Red Dead Redemption la na kudge veila oru ending. Fans ke kudse mari ending maatha veila. How you getting on? Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is well, you know, undertakers like me, cattle, not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch beecher's hope down by blackwater was you well, jack read it to me but i thought maybe we could raise some money bank could lend us the rest we could be happy john we bank could... loans i got a goddamn price on my head woman i know i know all about that every time we about to get somewhere oh, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't jimmy milton every place we've been has been the same i'm gonna do it only our hero that's you all like the big man with the gun tired john and i guess i was dreaming a little at least give me that just it feels hopeless you're doing better milton milton ma'am mr gettys needs you to head over to strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office sure i'll take the boy with me he's getting soft Thanks a lot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? Address that word I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. One's in your name and the other one's in mine. O- only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes, a real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> Okay, Lance a lot. Make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man mind. He's only a boy. Just going to show him how to drive the wagon a little. Oh, uh, okay, bro. Okay, bro. John the hero of another day. Come on. Get. You take care now. Of course. John okay the hero gana. Arthur nalla character acha. Paasayavum avudha super character. Avan konnadilendha dhaan Dutch ku kolupeeri. அவன் இஷ்டத்துக்கு நடக்க ஆரம்பிச்சிடும் முன்னாடி ஹாசையான ஒருத்தன் வந்து இது கண்ட்ரோல் பண்ணிட்டு இருந்தோம் ஆர்த்தரும் இவன் ஆர்த்தர் ஹாசையா வேற மைக்கா மைக்கா இவன் 
டச்சு மூணு பேரும் சின்ன வயசுல இருந்த போட்டோ எல்லாம் வச்சிருந்தானுங்க ஆனா இந்த மைக்க முட்டையில விழுந்த புழு மாதிரி தேவையில்லாத வேலை பார்ப்போம் டச்சு கூட ஓகே தான் ஆனால் டச்சு வந்து கடைசி டைம்ல ஆர்த்தருக்கு ஹெல்ப் பண்ணாம இருந்திருக்க கூடாது ஆர்த்தர் யாராவது காப்பாத்தி திரும்ப ரெட் டெட் த்ரீல கொண்டு வந்தா சூப்பரா இருக்கும் யாராவது மீன்ஸ் அந்த ரெட் இந்தியன்ல அவன் சொல்லுவான் தெரியுமா நான் உங்களை காப்பாற்றலாம் அப்படி அப்படின்னு அது வேற அந்த ரெட் இந்தியன் மலையில வச்சு தானே அவனும் இதாகும் நினைக்கிறேன் <laughs> ஒருத்தான் <laughs> Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er uh, oh, er uh sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> And I will help you out. Hmm. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here. Let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Ah, uh, it's uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, Mr. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so at least. Mr. Ormari, what's the bona? I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here and we're just going to turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the road. It's more than I think before. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy. But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But no. Oh, okay. Keep on driving. And watch the Thank you for the six likes. Thank you. Era like panna vandinga marakama like pannunga. I'm your father, okay? I got my reasons even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. 
If I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, okay. you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. Uh -huh. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Pick up the pace, bit. Slow it down. Don't want to seem like we're running away from anything. Uh, okay. Whoa! Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Actually, you know what? Faster. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, sir, sir, no. Let's speed this up. Just a bit faster now. I think we're going too fast, Pa. Fine. Pull your reins in. Oh, no. Too fast now. Okay. Easy there. Hey, you know, pretty good, huh? What's wrong, Pa? Nothing. I yeah. Know. I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go, and the horse will follow. Okay. I think the horse is getting skittish. Will be all right. Follow me, dear girl. Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. You gunna lose it, girl? What is color of the world? Yeah, I'm Okay. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pod, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, uh -huh. Pod, you need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on! Quick, down! Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen, let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just. We want him here! Oh. 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 <laughs> we boys want with us. Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Morrison? You sure look like him. The water is cold, and I get. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob me. You're talking. She missed her killing. Up a thumbie would have put his hand up. Jack! Jack, you okay? It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on, get up. Oh dear, those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Paul. Son, I need you to hold it together. Back there, real brave. Exactly like I said. Really? Uh huh. 
many problems. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. We're okay. Hey, uh, you know, your mama wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm-hmm. What was it called? Mm -hmm. What was the name? What? Look out! Beecher's Hope. That's right. Beecher's Hope. Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? I sold a ranch. I don't know. I can see you as a ranch boy. Like Doug and Gettys, huh? I wasn't so sure, but... Yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Thank you for the subscribe, guys. 340. <laughs> Like for Nanis, run a deep young living in our club. Unmore than Walkil Mukun and Gandhi Jim. What happened? Yeah, it's. I don't. We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed and then. We, followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! Your dress caused all the problems. Or even a dress. It was a gift for you. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think you want? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. What's the matter? Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. <laughs> Jim, stop. <laughs> J.M., I know. Stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. There most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Abigail. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. 
I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. <laughs> Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. That's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. <laughs> Thank 
Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pow! Yeah, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Can you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Here's my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back.
Now I see into the eyes of a girl No more, no more cruel world Cruel, cruel world must I go on Dusty trail, saw a vapor light. Was it a mirage? I don't know, but it seemed right. I felt mission, I felt trust. I knew then that I must go to her from this cruel world. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. I thought to myself who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to. Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Ah! What was that? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you, get out of here. John Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. <laughs> oh, oh, it's legal. I'm usually. Then, maybe. Come on. Then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What do he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on, we got a bit of a ride. I know. No problem at all. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him. Uh, about a year back? 
Okay. We always said, if we found him... I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Yeah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. Hey, I've I been a real fool and forgot to ask my friend Nathan Kirk where he's staying. You got any idea? He's a bald feller from New York. I'm sorry, I don't know. You, uh, you seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. <laughs> Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh... In room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Stop! That's Nathan Kirk! Oh! Got him? Shut up! Come on, Joe! You're a good filly. We gotta get after him! Remember, we want him alive, though! I know! Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. How are, you, how are you married, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. Hey! 
quiet now. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. Okay. You're doing 
doing well. ब्लैक पॉटर उन्हें जाना नहीं है। Well, welcome. How do you do? All right, partner. Money. No, hey, I mean you no harm, Mister. Bet you don't got nothing anyway. Stop it! It is seeing you vexed. I was only joshing you. Gotta be done. Let's beat things up right now, all right? You should pay these off as soon as you can. Small sum to do. Bullet, bullet. Okay. No one in the room. 
Hola, señor. Ah, there. Come on in. Mister? Gotta be done. Great town, this, huh? Oh? Hello. 
Good to have you. Now, let me see. You might just be the best looking man in town wearing that, excluding yours truly, of course. A little more attention from the fairer sex wearing that. Could we please get this over and done with? <laughs> I really do wish you would hurry this along. Are you feeling good? Because you're looking great. Could we please get this over and done with? Now that goes with just about any outfit. Well, pardon my saying, but you look right handsome in that. Thank you for coming. Come on, lady. Hello. Good Gentlemen, good evening, mister. There, girl. Hey, miss. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. 
Good girl. Watch yourself. My Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> oh, that old dump? I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? Which folk? Mr. Geddes. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. ஏரியா <laughs> You're doing well. Ain't you fine? Well done, lady. There. We're okay. Can I help you, friend? Thank <laughs> you. 
Two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. I'm <laughs> just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. Oh, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. Oh, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's uh, slow and... Painful death, my brother. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> Just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think that maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. You just bought this place, and you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. <laughs> This is it. Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? 
We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. Another go, girl. Nice, Philly. <laughs> Relax. Working hard? <clears throat> it's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up. Or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town. And, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Charles, I'm going to go to Oh. Let's get off. All right. <sighs> Back in Saint Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slum. Now, nah, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? Good morning, sir. Yeah, boy. Hi, fellas. Morning, partner. Morning to you. Watch Morning. it now. Morning, sir. Watch yourself.
<laughs> Howdy, partner. Hey, partner. You seen a big Indian guy? Indian? <laughs> sure. I've seen hundreds. A big guy. Boxer, maybe? Likes fighting? Yeah, yeah. Bare knuckle guy. Think he's he's fighting tonight over at St. Saturnine's. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem, bud. Morning. Good morning to you. All right, girl. Just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Ask that first barman I met. He told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not one of life's great mysteries, turns out. <laughs> In the don't surprise, but they hate a massacre. And you are a killer. Not at all. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Ladies sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left. A ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Injun Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, lone Indian Hercules. You know how this works? Cutlery. No I'm gonna fight for no damn long. So I have to shoot Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. I seen you hit whiskey jars on the net. Knock him out. Pretend he's Micah. Try and stay on your feet, you hear? Micah, I'm not saying he. He come with the color dino. I why you not doing? Oh, I why not do that? Come on, Lone Wolf. Gotta get you the hell out of here. Hey, Lone Wolf. Whoa. Ha. Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. It's your share, partner. We just made the bed. I said we. So you keen on staying around here and heading off with me and Uncle? But John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few errands to run. <laughs> 
You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. This way. Uh, my bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. It was where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, and some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him, or... Give him some kind of understanding what his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all of you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since... Well, that time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss, the agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened, all those deaths, Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem, if it wasn't for... Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> Simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple, John Charles. I'm here. Dolly Arthur, which I'm wondering. Kind of. I miss Arthur. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs>
Feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired $2 whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail, I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house a lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> <laughs> good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. <laughs> I need a break. Come on, pull already! That's it! Come on! That's it! Come on, Almost! Almost. Trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fella by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's gonna Just tell you need that? a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. It's a level. Okay, believe my eyes. Hello, dear. 
That's a girl. Sir, is this your first time in my saloon? Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three, but same as most people. I guess. Funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murderer, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for watching. Like me. Anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the guys. State troopers in the North Country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah, it's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it? We're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now come on, mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. Let's go, girl. <laughs> Sir. Hi. Oh, partner. Follow Hi, me. Partner. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. My ranch, it's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble? Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or drop down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in Saint Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land? I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Ah, the offer's there. Whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. 
I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Maka, John. Maka's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But not now. Come on. This outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. Let's go take a look down in the valley. Is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Uh, come on. Let's go follow them. <laughs> Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's Coming through here. thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. Good girl. Up here. Get off your horse. This might be...
That sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. John. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them? Start shooting at them or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Let's just start shooting. Maybe they'll all run off. Yeah, they'll scatter right away. I'm going over here. Okay. Oh, you're gone!
What's it look like? We need our horses. I know I'm that. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. That damn harpy. Look at him here dead. I told you I'd kill every last one of you, Lightning. Come on, it's time to collect. Okay, you're taking Finley. Let's go. Get him on your horse. Ah. It didn't work out for you before, woman. You, you let me alone. I got a feeling this time will be different, Finley. Let's get out of here. Come on. I need to relieve myself. There'll be a bucket in your cell. <sighs> I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. You're lagging, y'all. Can we all go now? Say that again. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. No, but I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hi, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. Come on, the jail's up here. Almost there, Finley. I, I don't know what this is about. Brother, Mobi, mobile pe. Here we are. Sol Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. Mobile pe. You're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. Bro, seven zero one zero not putting up. I need to relieve myself. There'll be a bucket in your cell. <sighs> I'm serious. Yep, and so am I.
Finally, thank you for the subscription, guys. You're too far behind. Let's all stick together. So, what were you saying? Sadie Adler, inga kudi tu puran tarle. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. I still have my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. Now, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> That's it. How did it work ain't easy, John? No. But I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, Joan. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. <laughs> Game bug me, huh? Listen, is it okay if I rob you? I got bad memories of this. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. That's your cell at the end there. Uh. We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. It's yeah, all yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. There's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. Uh. You want this money to go to the bank too? No, I'll uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town, or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. Where are you going, Paralia? You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. I, I, help you, I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot I know is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. <sighs> Which house do you want? <laughs> Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee you're home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. 
And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. <laughs> Left Uncle Arm to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. This Skinner's about, we need him. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's gonna be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fellow up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. I know the quickest way. Follow me. I don't know what's going on. Is your friend a Negro or a red skin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. That was all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Balam again. Guns to mean they're carrying some valuable. Go pair of timber and some tools. What? No, wait, the, trust me. Big on fan line, I'm bro. It. You hire a gun, yes, you hire thank you for watching, bro. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. <sighs> All right, I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle Thank you for the eight likes, guys. But I'm not so dead. I'm not so like I'm not so Let's see 10 likes. You were gonna say people wonder how you can handle it living by your gun, but it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much... Guys, 130 IT. Niels knows tools. And he knows me. So we'll see if we can get him to give you some. Why are we stopping? It won't be free. It won't even be cheap. Oh, it's in a break at the bank. what you pay. This is the spot. Just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Like I said, Nils. 
Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Okay. <laughs> All right, then.
forgive the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here, near the lake. What are you <laughs> bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. Uh, true, ma. I don't know anything else. Uh, true. Get the hell out of here. Good. Group put it out of the bar. Keep your gun high. I'm not going to die. I'm going to die. Already now in the other Nazi. Get away from me! Ah! Hey, Marco, what the hell do you think you? Ah! Ah! Oh, look, I found in the cellar. Why have they gained you? Leave her alone. I wasn't doing nothing. She's one of them Odriscoll. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Yes. Are you? Fuck you, fool. Marco, look at you. Yes. Yeah. It is gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss! Miss! Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Get here, it's King La. Oh. <laughs> you okay, Miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they. <laughs> Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Dorothy. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Correct, Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, Miss? Your bad man. Miss. Adler. 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 Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Husband and a tele put Hey, everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is, but we found... Some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up, give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. 
I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur? John and Arthur told him to be done on a bit dirty one another. You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know... The situation were reversed, and he looked for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Hi, bro. Okay, John North and Teddy Boro. Hey, I see some smoke. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, it seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on there. There's some tracks leading to the river. Ha! The Eastern Tea Bath is gonna for all. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed no, fine. The right the right. Then suddenly they were I everywhere. Think the the no, Pinkerton's. It was crazy. Ah, both of them. Raining bullets. The reason I'm not here. Watch out for this crevice. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way, but it was a bad situation. I ain't like him, bro. Boy, the normal is ladder, Mary. Look what? This no trouble. Shot Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Eso. Damn snow's coming in hard again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast.
Muy madre. In the game of 500 plus artists to use for Nirgangla, voice, voice actors use for Nirgangla. I know where. Hey, look, over there. You see that? I know where voice actor now. Over actor me or Koranjit Rende Munana Pandla. I pray. John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Voice different, different up on one. Come on, up there. Sound again. Right, la, right. La. From up ahead somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We have to walk from here. I grab that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Okay. I'm going to get a shotgun. Get that gun then. Yeah, that's it. Hey. Shot gun, I think I did it to pull it down. Animals are going to attack. Careful here. जो राइट ला दूर हम क्या कहते हैं साउंड है You got there. 
Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry side? Can't argue with you there. See? I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. You alright? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Look up there. For the horses, I'll keep John's friends off until you're clear. All right, John, come on. Let's get you on that horse. to the others. I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a, a dog bite. Uh, you know a fella? Got bit by a dog. Died an hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. Coming down the hill. Stay out. Get out of here. Look out on the right. We got more wolves on the left. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. Get out. Some help. We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Oh, here we go. There we go. Uh, Ay, uh, careful, idiotas. Uh, it's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? 
Not today. If you and Dutch talk about how we're gonna get out of this. I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit. And we go back to Blackwater and we get our money or we get some more money and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Jose. Boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> well, a party? <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. You sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole? always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place there are O'Driscoll's about? Yeah! Train at you, Boromo. Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score of their planet.
What's that? Tracks. Horses, quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen. I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. Revenge and another land, I'm a hero to all of them. Things I can't forgive, others I can't forget. What he did to Annabelle, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Whoa! <laughs> Hold up here. Easy. All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, Ready, Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. Morgan na namada na Arthur Morgan na. There they are. That's definitely them. Home. I think so. Yeah, that's him. And then the wood skull gang, wood skull. That are for my lord, the marriage. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. Chaladan, dude. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. All right. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You two, get up there and keep us covered. You got it, Dutch. Okay, what are your rifle on it? Good. Come on, let's go. We'll circle around the far side and go down that way, same as Mike and Bill. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including calm, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on.
Oh, watch out. It's a bit steep. Okay, so all the gamma sound to get away. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running, hush. Let's just get down there first. Follow me. Let's head for that building in front. We'll do the supplies a lot of water on the way through. Get in cover, Arthur. Where is the mic? So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. It's certain I've dared to search the bodies, strip everything we can from them. I'm going to the other day, but I'm going to recognize any of them. Of course not. Cole doesn't give a damn about these men. All he cares about is numbers. Why in the car they're going to ride a horse and kill without thought. You're in. Think how long I can't tonic. 
I imagine Tom doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Keep looking! We need everything we can get off of these bastards! Searching the bodies, Arthur! Can the gunner to come down? Heads up, boys! We got more coming in from the forest. Can they do around again? Can to mess around good work boys now let's tear this place apart <clears throat> Bill, go search that wagon there Mike search that building or take that building to the left all right man quick find those detonators explosives anything you can let's go This looks good. What do you think, Bill? We do. Wanna go? Wanna go? Smells good. I give her a like. Come on. Salad, don't know. Dynamite. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. Try not to get worn out, Nanakin. Map for long, that's really interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Cornwall. Now back up. Let's keep moving. All right, let's get out of here. Proud of you boys, all of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. Come on, on game, I love it. Get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John. Matt, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get cold, but this hit will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. 
Oh, of course he will. Just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. Yeah. அவன் இவனை பிடிச்சிட்டோம் என்ன பண்ணும் இது வருது எழுத்துட்டே பேரையும் வேற என்ன பண்ணி ஐயோ கஷ்டப்படுறானே என்ன பண்ணி டே இருடா ஒழுங்கா ஐஸ்ல போட்டு இழுத்துட்டோமோ பாவம் ஆட்டை போட்டுருவோம் ஐயோ அவனோட கல்யாண மோதிரத்தை எடுத்துட்டோமே அப்படிலாம் அசால்ட்டாக விட முடியாது சல்லதானோ ஆனால் அவனை கயர்லேயே போட்டு இழுத்தோம் பார்த்தீங்களா அதான் கொடுமை இல்லை இவனை தூக்கிட்டு போய் கொஞ்சம் போகிறோம் இவன் அந்த எனிமையோட ஆளாகும் என்ன ஒரு வியூ 
வியூக்கு தான் பைசா வாய திறந்த வாயிலே அடிப்பான் நம்ம ஹீரோ சொல்றாப்ல ஓகே வந்துட்டேன் என்ன பண்ணும் குச்சிருவோமா தேங்க்யூ பார் த சிக்ஸ் லைக்ஸ் கேஷ் யாராவது லைக் பண்ணாமல் இருந்தீங்கன்னா மறக்காமல் லைக் பண்ணியிருக்கேன் ஒரு ஓல்ட் ட்ரெஸ் கோல் ஓல்ட் ட்ரெஸ் கோல்னா இவனோட எனிமி கேங்குன்னு நினைக்கேன் இவனுக்கெல்லாம் ஒரு கேங்கு ஓல்ட் ட்ரெஸ் கோல் கேங் வந்து இவங்க எனிமி கேங் I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. You want me to make him talk? Oh no, now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. Maggot. I'm hungry. Maggot no muttal na. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas. Is need shooting. Save fellas. Is need saving. And feed them. is need feeding we are going to find out what you need character so i can't believe it i know drisco in my camp i ain't no drisco mister I, i hate that fella oh whatever you say son well done arthur i'm just sorry we missed out on call oh there's time enough for that now i got to figure out if we can hit that train நின்னே தூங்கிட்டியா Okay, next mission. Yeah, <coughs> let's We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. You're in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. You're in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. 
for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny, yeah, but no name so much is out to learn. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Boy, what now? Where are you going? Hold on. Here. You're gonna need some need out there. Assorted salt is awful. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it, and you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. We're gonna have to take a bullet, ma. Yeah, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. That is love, but it's your tongue, Lee. We'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on, this way. You're with the Rondaro. Charles, I'm okay. Apart from this hand, stupid mistake. Still bad. It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill? It ain't no Driscoll. Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a boat. bit, but it sure weren't good. Why did the boat have to be so long in the lake? Some patches of grass here. This is good. Let's look down this way. Mm. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, it won't move. No shh. Stay quiet. Stop here a second. I see something. Uh, careful. Let's go past the gun. Up to in the past the gun. Come down. Has deer been here? And recently. How can you tell? How can you not? Let's go to put some in there. We'll track them on foot. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. Don't Don't scare scare anything around. No, use the bow I gave you. That'll make too much noise.
extra option of crowd chengada arugu why you will have some of the game in the market See the tracks? I uh, think so. Crouch button in the boat. So, focus. Okay, Narg Valley. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it in a white color. I don't know if you can see it. It's a bit of a line. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Shhh. You see him? That's what I'm saying. Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Aim for their head or neck. We want a good, clean kill. No, I'm sorry. You can pull back quite hard. You'll feel when it's too much. Good shot. Now let's try for another. A little. Oh, I'm not really worried. Where are the other guys? के इन्होंने अन्ना अर्ग लांग ला हाँ अन्ना अर्ग ना गाउन इस्टे जैन्ना बना दे हम बात बना ओके बीट उन्हें देर ना बीट वाड़ी डॉ लेला 
Iya, iya, gini gitu Sutton, ini gue tepon Wist Ambe, rombat orang pura gila I think that's all we can carry. Oh, my lord, and doesn't look good. You pick up one, I'll get the others. You sure your hands are okay? It'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Bring it up, one. Pretty good hunt there, boy. Boy. Trimba, trimba. Okay, let's go. Warna, kalau mau di iritin. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. We've seen enough. The game of Padamani or Doubt on Ro. Ini dah lagi very tanam apa ni erbangga. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Hmm. You're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab his essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days, but we don't have to come to our mouth to feed. One more. We ain't feeding me on this damn thing. That train up to get lunch. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. Of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Nah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well... We've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Yeah. Let's go, Arthur. Long way, Arthur. 
ஒரு நின்று தான் போடுமோ பேர்லாம் இருக்குதா சொன்னோம் நானும் பயந்துட்டேன் வேற லெவல் பண்ணிருக்கானுங்க They didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you can run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. I was wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yeah. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. Indian na namma Indian gade Red Indian. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. Twenty years, something like that. Since I was a boy. Twenty years? Yeah. <laughs> Taught me to read. John too. Taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. In the gang la like, 20 years ago na. Take most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take time with the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I'm no more running up with Jarla. And the Dunning on the Dunning. The master than a bull won't take nobody but him. ஒரு <laughs> No it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane it does. Yeah, oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one that you dumped on the floor there. Mm-hmm. 
Set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutchie. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to run. Traffic's good here, Mom. ரொம்ப டிஃப்ரெண்ட் இருக்காது பட்டு ஆட்கள் மேலே கொஞ்சம் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் தெரியும் கண்டிப்பாக Tracks. 
we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. பசங்க வேட்டைக்கு போறானுங்க ஏதோ <laughs> 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 பாக்குற <laughs> Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Let's 
ça là dans l'entrée. Ouais. Ok. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. ஜம்பாடி பாடி கீழே விழுந்துட்டு முன்னாடி ட்ரெயின் ஸ்லோ தானே இருக்கும் கரெக்டா இல்லா நான் அந்த பாறையில் நசுங்கிருப்பேன் வா கண்ணா டிராபிக்ஸ் கொஞ்சம் கம்மி பண்ணிக்கிறேன் தூக்கி போடு கழுத்து சார் ஐயோ இவ்வளோ ஏன் கேவலமா இருக்கேனா பைனலி செத்துடும் இப்படா இருக்கானது
உள்ளவடா உள்ளவடா சாதாரண மக்கள் இல்லையா போனோம் Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corp. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake him up a little. Come on. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Some more money. Now don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might Seems good enough. Back. ஹீரோ மாதிரி முதல்ல செஞ்சிருக்கலாம்ல டோபர் Get on up there. Search that train. Yeah, you're not a little bit more. Oh, train put here than car and run. Look at this place. It's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? Arch, shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Go, letter. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Ah. There. See? That's how it's done. Shit. Just a pile of papers. Bond? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Railroad contracts, invoices, blah blah blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies? A lot of sugar? Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe? <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. Have you checked all the drawers and cabinets? Yeah. Come on. Let's hurry this along, boys. Now, this looks like some. These just seem to be contracts. Arthur, have you looked down the end there? I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah. 
Get it out of here. What about them? Huh. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah. Okay, get on the train, quick, hold it. Any bright ideas, I kill all three, so behave. Come on, move. If I hear so much as a footstep from the... Oh, no! For Lord's sake, put that book away and go hell. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything body else. Body in the in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Hosea. The are Hosea. What's your Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey.
free. Gotta keep us moving, but calm. Ah, shit. Okay, let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a leg? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. <gasps> Nearly there. There. See? You ain't so used to it. <laughs> Not quite. There. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we would have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. Don't hold the bone. Tell you. They're all waiting on us, Arthur. Stay on this trail. Follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, Maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget. This here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just cause it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but... When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's Government is in the water on a gang gang. gang. I like you want to go to gang. Cowboys, outlaws. But the moon gang name it. Only one of the gang. Driscoll's probably the gang. Pinkerton. Let's go. You want to go to gang. Up from Water Skull, no gang. What's it called again? Water Horseshoe Skull. Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but 
We kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. on there anyway just some yarrow and ginseng good for the health better than that stuff you buy in the store yeah you can have all this i'm at the point where i can do it with my eyes closed oh, okay thank you There you are, brother. Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Yeah, dog. Morning, I did not want Okay, let's go. Okay. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. Went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. Javier. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Right, let's bring it along. The Arthur. Bunga Manir gonna game. So, gentlemen, we have survived. For now, now hey, Sarah, the Maragama, like, put on the name of Maragama, like, put on the Blackwater. We were on to something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together, kept us alive, kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified Vanguard somehow. Thing. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. 
Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Okay, now we're going to see what we're going to do. We're live. Dodi Mudusikla. And thank you for watching, guys.
ஹலோ ஐ ஆம் பேக் ஃபைனலி வந்துட்டேன்னு நினைக்கேன் ஏன் நம்ம கேம் இதில் ஓட்டோன் பார்த்துருவோமா They've been trying to sell that property for some time, hadn't they? Took a look at it myself as it so happened. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. The world needs men like Challa thano nenjile edichitanunga. Charam family pathi anda pesidona. Paavu. ஷாட்கன் மாதிரியா சார் ரெட் இந்தியன் சார் உனக்கு உனக்கு தான் ஸ்கின்னு சார் Thank you for the subscription guys எவண்டா இது நம்மளே அடிக்கிறோம் கண்ணு வேற எங்கேயோ சுட்டா அவன் மேல படுது ஃப்ரீலாம் இருக்கு வேணலா எங்கெல்லாமோ சுட்டா சூப்பரா இதாகுதா பிடிச்சு பிடிச்ச ஐயோ புட்டுறோன போல முன்னாக்கு இருக்க ஒருத்த அவனை கொல்ல மாட்டியா ஆமாம் 
அட பாவி இன்னுமா இவன் சாவல நம்மதான் நமக்கு வீடு கட்டணும் போல This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. There was a caravan. A few months back. Massacred. Uncle! Uncle! Sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. A lot of them? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town. I'm gonna pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Well, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. You say so. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Charles? Hmm. 
இங்கேதான் நம்ம வீடு கட்ட போகிறோமா வா நம்ம கணிச்சுட்டே இருக்கு அழுக்கா இருக்கு போல புது குதிர மாதிரி ஆயிட்டா ஒரு <laughs> which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing is says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a 6 foot deep hole. You to get the bottom up. When the work day is over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy. John needs help moving these joists. Now come on. Get a move on. We got to get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. I should get on with this. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail, and I'll nail it. We 
Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind Whenever, no matter, any weather We're together I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. At least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Wait up, wait up, ma. Hey, yo. It's a lot of fun. Come on, wait up. Come on, wait up. Come on, wait up. Indian style like a deal. Dress and all dress for to turn a
அங்கில் ஏதாவது ஏழ்ரையை போட்டானா அங்கங்கேயே போயிருக்கான் Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So, that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. Well, the only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so... Goats, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. I can't move like I used to. Then I never was Keep that fast. You're okay. In the black water. Let's go. Now, this fella probably saw you. Thought, here's some corn husk idiot, some country roof. If I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt me. Oh, and that's you, is it? This is him. So what were you talking about before? Oh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in the dead as it is. I got it. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily. I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scar-faced <laughs> loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, I'll. Yeah, it's and been you, a sir. pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you, and David Geddes likes now, you. I, I, but this <laughs> man is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Sadie. Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing, and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? Oh, well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. 
Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. Painted Sky, Alright, the Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. was up there on the property couldn't find the rancher but saw a mexican looking feller hanging around now ramon cortez is around those parts split up from his gang and stuck in west elizabeth it's gotta be him hold up waiting on some out and we're gonna get to him first whoa oh whoa go go sadie hey so who is this bounty ramon cortez He's with the Del Lobo guy. Yeah? You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios, and some regular Americans too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. Yeah, <laughs> charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law, except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I Nancy. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice weren't what I heard about him. Got hold of this feller I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, oh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up, and Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh, well then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. We're getting there, right? Huh? <laughs> Sad, he had a little bit of... Sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. <laughs> you search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. Ramon Cortez! 
We've come for you. Come calmly and nobody will get hurt. You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Oh, Mukle Buta. Yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. Yeah. Uh, uh, that hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. Roads like all seraphim gone. Hit your horse up here. What say I was in God's land? I could learn again. What say all? Sand or the one or Irish car. Bring Cortez round the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. You know, now that we can put them on. यार सिर्फ रगा कम ऑन आई गिव यू 100 डॉलर्स टू किल दैट बिच मिस्टर शेरिफ मिस्टर शेरिफ वी गॉट रामोन कोर्टेज कोर्टेज फॉर डेड वेल डन हेल फाउंड हिम हाइडिंग इन अ पाइल ऑफ शिट दैट्स अबाउट राइट हाउ यू डूइंग रामोन ओह जस्ट फाइन मिस्टर हेय हाउ मच यू वांट how much any of you want? I'll give two thousand dollars in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, Mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> ஓ இவன் நம்ம கூட்டிட்டு போகணுமோ ஓகே சல்லதுங்கங்கிட் Before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let them have it, boys. Damn lobos. Damn damn lobos. We will fight. Yeah, I saw him again.
ಇನ್ನು ಮಾಡೋ ಸಾಲ ನೀವು Mount up. You're a good filly. Where are we going to find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks. Waiting all that time in that gym crack jailhouse? Yeah. Yes, we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Grays and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah. He'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with the price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know, usually. If I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hold up. Down there. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Yeah. Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Whoa! Come on! They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? It just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well.
ஒரு பயம் இருக்கு மாடா நீ சாகல சேடிய போட்டாங்களா கடையில அசால்ட்டா போட்டானோ நம்ம ஸ்டைல நம்ம அடிக்கலாம் அவனை கொண்டு கூடாதோ மறுபடியும் முதல்ல இருந்து
shoot you. You might get lucky in court. Get over here. All right, all right, amigo. I'm coming. Try anything clever, you're gonna get shot. Oh, hold your horses, chica. Get out of there. <laughs> Sid, get out of there. Easy, easy, girl. Oh, you gave up easy a long time oh. ago. <sighs> hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey, let's stay aquí. Shut your gut down oh. mouth. Just be. Son of a bitch. So what were you telling? Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'll stay well clear. <laughs> 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 to, Mrs. Adler. Made a friend. Yeah, it's me again. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You, you're a dead woman. You are a dead man. The De Lobos will not forgive this. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you and we will kill you. Yeah, we don't need to go for the lot. <laughs> Leave us again, John. Hey, say that again. I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Anita Hank. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Cause you ain't gonna find much use for it in the short time you got left. Oh, damn you, woman! Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you! You should've took the money. You should've taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna go for you! Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fight, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. Sheriff, 
We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver them. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, Joan. Will you send my money to the bank for me? Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. Black water gate through on the dump. John. Crazy, eh? Welcome. Please, okay. take a seat. That's what I like to Only see. Only a trim or something fancy like. Bus. Bus cutting room. Mighty fine if I do say so. All right, you're ready to go. Thank you. Evening. Stay put, girl. Stay here. Dress and Matla. Yeah. Yeah, so it goes. 
அரப்பா இவ்வளோ தள்ளி போகிறேன் ஆரிய கிரேசிங்லாம் சூப்பர் perfect for you that is a local favorite you'll be getting a little more attention from the fairer sex wearing that Now, don't doubt yourself. That looks excellent on you. Shotgun quota. There are a few colors you can go with for this one. What do you think? Wearing it out? I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me and you'll never be disappointed. A properly worn vest always commands respect. People around here come in just for those. Well, pardon my saying, but you look right handsome in that. I believe that is exactly what your outfit needs. What color speaks to you? Sure. You're going to love the way you look in those. That is a local favorite. Plenty more great items. 
We are closing now. If you have anything you'd like to buy, please let to make me ends know. Meet. Well, that's just the uh, well nature. Fellers? Hello. How you folks doing? No, no, I'm not going to go. You'll be okay. உங்களுக்கு பர்த்டேயா இல்ல பேட் டேயா தெரியல பாப்போம் வீடுக்கு பெயிண்ட் எல்லாம் அடிச்சு இன்டீரியர் வேலைலாம் பார்க்க முடியாதா ரெண்டு வீடு வச்சிருக்கோமா ஓ அது அந்த தொழும் அது ஏதோ பான்னு சொல்லுவானுங்க மேல படுத்துருக்கானா இல்ல என்ன பெட்டி ஓ அண்ணா இருக்கும் was your holiday i was making money and to think you call me lazy you've done a great job well that crew did help a house a barn look at this place <laughs> i can't believe it thank you thank you both this calls for a drink young miss at dancing school has taught the minuet to tread young miss at dancing school has taught the minuet to tread But we go better when we brought our four tack to cat head come bustle bustle drink about and let us merry be our can is full we'll pump it out and then all hands to see when horn and hounds the forest rends his pack the huntsman cheers when horn and hounds the forest rends his pack the huntsman cheers as loud as hallo when we send a broadside to mount sears as loud as hallo when we send a broadside to mount sears come bustle bustle drink about and let us merry be our can is full we'll pump it out and then all hands to see what's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives what's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives and then my boys hoist sail for more thus passes sailors lives and then my boys hoist sail for more thus passes sailors lives come bustle bustle drink about and let us merry be our can is full let's break it out and then our hands to see yeah <laughs> John 
Get out here! Yeah, Uncle's dude. gone! He's fine. Let me sleep. Get out here now! <sighs> that fat man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinners. You think? Of course. My guess is they went that way. But my other guess is they know we're coming after him. What choice do we have? None. We just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. Look, you to be done a Let's go. I tracked them to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about him. We should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do to try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Easy. Up here. You see that? Left. Dear look. Towards tall trees. Come on. John, look. John and the Arthur get up here and go put on their If it's really bad, this might not be about saving him. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, you mean to. I mean, you can live a week without a scalp, but it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already, with only hurt to come. We get him, and we s Hear something? Yeah. You think they saw- What's coming? I don't know. Guess we'll s- better up going on on foot okay leave the horses in the trees there stay to the trees come on Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. Hold. Patrol to our left. Come from the ranch, they'll come this way. We should have burned it while they slept. The burning's better if they're awake for it. He's old and sick, he won't last long. Then when they come, they'll come for a corpse. He was talking about Uncle. He's alive. Mm. Come on, they've passed. Let's go.
Hold up. You hear that? Yeah. Wagon. There. Dragging someone. Is it Uncle? No. Some other poor bastard. Let's follow. You might need us to <laughs> Stay with him. Stopping. What do you see? He's picking up. The poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body, we must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. Take him, John. Okay. Let's go. I think I see something. Uh-huh. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder, take a look. Uh, hang in there, old man. You're gone. Sorry, I don't Okay, okay. I can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Come on! Uh, Charles! Uh, 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 behind you! Hey, Sarah. Okay, we've got some time. Let's get Uncle. 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 What have they done to you? I gotta get you down. You're okay, old man. I look okay. You look awful. You'll be okay. Those bastards. We got them. Oh. Oh, looks like we got here just in time. God damn it. I'll carry him. Come on, Uncle. Come on. Got him? Because here comes him. Quick! There's more of them. I'll cover you. Down that gully. Day, 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 Sutta Sagda. Wiley Sutta Trigam, what is that? Day, 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 
Arrest them. There's more of them. I'll cover you. Venga, mamá. यार सिद्धा अब तो आई और सब उन्हें डाना ला लाइट अब आगे माइक का मर आग रहा Over here, almost back. Hang in there, old timer. Ah, I can't, I can't, I'm back. Easy. Oh, don't let me fall, please. <sighs> Uncle, Uncle, hey. Thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Don't get all sentimental now, old man. And I really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. Okay. He'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? <sighs> yeah, exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. We're gonna be safe here, John. 
Hmm? You, your family, you all be safe. I hope so. I really do. If she ever comes back. always did have that fine way with words. You doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Just give him some time. He'll warm up. It's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so we reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? I guess. Come on! In our Sandosaman ending. இவன் வீட்டுக்கு வேற ஏதாவது எக்ஸ்ட்ரா வாங்க முடியுமான்னு ஐ வேற ஏதாவது எக்ஸ்ட்ரா வாங்க முடியுமான்னு போய் பார்ப்போமா நம்மளே நினைச்சாலும் போய் வாங்க முடியாதோ அவனே இது பண்ணணும்னு நினைக்கிறேன் கதைப்படி தான் வரும்னு நினைக்கிறேன் ஆபிகேல் ஏதோ சொல்றோம் என்னன்னு போய் பார்த்தோம் மறுபடியும் ட்ரெஸ்ஸ மாத்திட்டானோ அடிக்கடி யார்ட்ட கேட்டு ட்ரெஸ்ஸ மாத்தான் தெரிய மாட்டேன் Never. Ah, you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Sadie! <laughs> You're alive! John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> well, how'd you know she was... We... I'm... Sorry, I you thought I... You look well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, well, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but tell me about you, darling. No arm to the teeth like that. Mom, I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard, 
I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, he ain't looking for that kind of work. Took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I going to do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's going to do something better than this. Like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money... How many times do I got to bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. <sighs> what is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business, you know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. Well, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. Say your goodbyes, John. We're off. Get your horse and let's go. You ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Hey, it's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back with the boy. You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was. It was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or it, asking her, at least. Oh, my. I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither. But <laughs> it's something I've thought about. And I, I think I know I want it. OK. I guess I thought you were married already. Long ago. No, not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married, it made me real happy. கல்யாணமே பண்ணலையும் நீ தான் பண்ண போறாங்க like a bear or something came through here. 
fella left in quite a hurry. Here. Oh, he was from the south. Whoever he is. No, that was okay, don't know. Maybe he's our man. If you ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? Both of them. Come on, they ain't here. It's that way, I'd say. Great. Damn it! I lost the trail. Can you see which way he might have gone? Okay, I think I got him. Follow me. Yeah, this way. It keeps going through here. There's a cabin up here. There, girl. Come on. My God, what monster did this? That our fella? Maybe. Yo, but looks more like a local farmer to me. Or what's left of one. Is it gone? You, Marshal Thorwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out. Come on. No shoes. Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! The fuck? I think he's gone. Kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here. Come here. I live with that. Thurwell, call yourself a man? Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. You all right, John? Yeah. Ah. Just, we always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. Family man and all. Seeing all this? Uh, I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch and your kid and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. <sighs> yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, 
I spend my cash on fancy clothes and horses and shiny new guns. That's because I ain't got anything else that matters to me anymore. Who's this up here? Is that... Are you Sadie Adler, ma'am? The bounty hunter? Get off the road! Look, I got great respect for you professionally, but if that's Marshall Thorwell there, uh, me and my partner would like to split the reward. You're doing what? Get off the road! We were thinking you might need to drop There we are. Huh. You don't mess around, do you? Let's go. Them bastards was green. If we didn't get him, someone else would have. This is a cold business, ain't it? Yep. It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall. And I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you wanna hear about him? Ain't all that back at your ranch enough? If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work? That's your decision to bring me along or not. But, but Micah, that's something we, well, I, I gotta do, with or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay, I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things, still mostly just whispers, but I think you might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you. But you think about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you could lose. Here, put him down. Go on, get home to your wife. Let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? No, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you. Doing okay, girl. Go on, girl. Things good with you?
How you getting on, son? Uh, fine, sir. What are you doing? Reading. And, uh, playing with the dog. You wanna go fishing or something? Not particularly. I don't really like fishing. Do like eating, though, right? Because we got to find some food. Come on. Let's head this way to the stream. OK, sir. Why you got to be like that? I'm sorry. It's OK. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? No. But let's keep going. Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. But if you'd like him to, I guess. So you don't care if we don't catch fish? Yeah, I, I'm not very good at this. At fishing or, or walking? At talking with you. But fishing will be fun. Sure. Unless you want nothing but beans again. No. I'd like to fish. And it'll be pretty fun, I promise. OK. It's fine being out with you, even though I can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. We should. Let's do more of this. Sure. I mean, yes, I'd like that. Pretty countryside, ain't it? I guess. Grass and the light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. You'll see it better when you get older. It's tough at your age. Just land and light. But to me, it's, it's, it's life. I, I can't explain it. OK. What are you going to be when world. you're older? I want to travel, the see the world. That's a good idea. Then become a lawyer and, and help people. That's not a lawyer. That's a. Are you laughing at me? No. Never. Just whatever you do, do it better than me and your mom. We had it. However we had it. We didn't make the most of it until now. OK. OK. This is a real good fishing spot. Folk always say that, and hours later they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading authority on everything? Well, ain't it so? Well, maybe. In this case, it's true. I hear there's some real big fish in here. Big old steelheads. Hard to catch, but real good eating. Hard to catch. Get your excuses in early. That dog of yours know he's owned by a complaining know-it-all? Come on, son. I'm sorry. No, you ain't. It's all right. Come on, let's fish. Uncle Hosea, he was the fisherman, wasn't he? That's right. I remember Uncle Arthur taking me, though. Arthur taught you how to fish now, did he? Huh, yeah. I suppose he did. That's nice. I got a bite. I got a bite. All right. Now stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. You want to set the hook in tight. He's he's strong. Good. Now reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now reel. I got him. <laughs> What do you think? How do you feel? <laughs> I don't... 
I feel... I don't know. Thanks, Dad. I told you this was a good fishing spot. You did. Hey, uh, my trip with Arthur, I remember now. I picked some flowers, and a couple of men showed up, dressed like they was from the city. No one like that's gonna show up here. Thank the Lord. Where's Rufus? I don't know. Relax. He's a dog. Where is he, though? I don't know. I'll go find him. Rufus! Come on, boy! Rufus! Here, boy! Let me come help you look. See. He bit him! Calm no. down, boy. And Jack, you calm down, too. Come here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Pa? Are you sucking? Dad! Rufus, no! Don't swallow it! Well, suck it, Dad! He's gonna die! He's gonna die! He'll be okay. We just gotta get him somewhere warm and calm. He's gonna die. Go get the fishing rods and the fish. I'm taking the dog home. Abigail! Can I get a hand? What, what's going on? Dog got bitten by a snake. Let's look after him. And the boy. Grab his rug. Is it gonna be okay? Jack, the dog is gonna be just fine. We never should have gone fishing. Sometimes. Sometimes, you just don't know how things are gonna turn out. But, but the dog... The dog's gonna be fine. It's okay, son. I'll tell you what, woman. Was a damn sight more peaceful round here before you came back. You're just lucky I'm a soft touch. It's walk or work, old man. I got a lumbago. You'll have more than that in a oh, minute. Oh, John, tell her about my health. Do what the lady says. I worked my fingers to the bone building this place, Abigail Roberts. Marston! Abigail Marston. Miss Marston to you. Miss Marston to you. Why you let him stay? He's actually been... Pretty useful, in a useless sort of way. Who's that? No idea. Friend or foe? We'll soon find out. It's the Gettys boys. From Proghorn Ranch? Yeah. Mr. Milton! Mr. Milton! Duncan! Sir, Ma found some old furniture in the attic. Pa thought maybe you folks would want it as a housewarming present, you know? Uh, they send their regards. Uh, how kind they are! Tell your mom, Paul, we're very touched. Where would you like the furniture? Uh, just over here. Then we can arrange. This is real kind of y'all. You saved the ranch. Paul said this is the least he could do. Well, that's about everything. <laughs> Send your paw my best regards. Tell him he's got friends for life in me and my family. Bye, sir. Ma'am. I can't believe this. 
It's so kind. Sure. But there's still some more things that we need to get. How about we take a ride into town? It's been ages since we spent any time together. It has. Let's go get the wagon. Okay, let's go. I feel like we ain't done nothing together like this since... Since, uh... Since forever? Maybe not forever, but a long time. We ain't had the time, you know? We both been working hard. And now we got something to show for it. The ranch, this life. It's so nice, John. I hope it'll only get nicer. May I help you, my lady? <laughs> oh, no, John. Blackwater. Is there anything you want to do? You said there were some things we still needed. We can buy them from that catalog. Let's go have some fun. I know your idea of fun, John Marston. <laughs> I ain't had a drink and... Well... I left those things behind me. No, I mean... Good. Wholesome fun. Like, uh, decent folk have. We decent now? I guess. <laughs> well, decent or not, I've still got some errands to run. That's fun. What would you like to do? Maybe get our portrait took, for starters? Portrait? There's a fella in town takes photographs. You want to stare at a portrait of yourself all day long? I hate to break it to you, but you ain't that much to look at. No. I want a picture of us. Me and you. Okay? Okay, then. Sure. Is there anything else you want? I don't know. Let's just walk around and see where it takes us. I do have to be back by dinner time. Uncle Jack and Charles will manage fine without you. Hell, looking after themselves may even be good for them. <laughs> They'll starve. And that may be good for them, too. With any luck, Jack and Charles will eat up. <laughs> Don't get my hopes up. <laughs> so maybe you're right. We'll stay. You know I am. Okay, then. Fortune it is. Morning, miss. here. Let me help you down. Why are you being so courteous? I don't know. There you go. I'm gonna head to the drapers for a minute. Won't take long, but I need to get some materials. You wanna come with me or wait here? And after that, we can go get our photo taken? Yeah, after that, we can get our photo taken. All right. Let's get that picture taken. It means that much to you. It does. Today it does. You're acting kind of funny. I am kind of funny. <laughs> A different kind of funny. Am I annoying you? No. I like this version of you. It just, it just ain't you. Well, maybe I've changed. Finally? I don't know. Probably. Hello, madam. Sir. Hello, sir. 
How can I help you? We're... We'd like to get our photo taken. Oh, a photo. Yes, yes, that I can help you with. Yes. So, uh, what do we do? I'm sorry, what did, what did you want? Uh, our portrait taken. Oh, well, we do that. Yes, wonderful. Handsome couple, quite something, but you need a background. A background? Yes, we have Niagara Falls. Paris by night. <laughs> we have Mount Vesuvius and its ruins. We have the open prairie. T take, a, take a look. Pick one. What do you think? Let's see the others. How about this one? It's dramatic, ain't it? <laughs> Let's see what else they got. This is pretty. Or spooky, maybe. Let's see everything. That's nice. It's like being back home. Was that all of them? This is, uh, mm, this is a bar. Surely there's a photograph of you in a bar already. Look, this was your idea, John. It's up to you. You've seen all of them. Anything you like? Ah, this one. Wonderful. That will be simply perfect. You know, I wish I had the Congo River, but they require grass skirts. I couldn't afford them. It's just so exotic. You stay there. I'll make a pose that you feel comfortable with. Well, this is dignified. <sighs> Try to... Enjoy. I think I'd rather be cleaning the outhouse. Be quiet. I thought you were a cowboy, not a poser. Oh, no. I'm a poser. I learned from the best. How's this? Bravo! Now, give me a minute. I'm going to develop this for you. Wait here. Take your time. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing at all. Tough guy. Gunslinger. Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. I just posed. Shut up. <laughs> you know, you're not very nice to me. Oh, I'm nicer than you deserve. <laughs> True. <laughs> Here. Came out beautifully. <gasps> sure. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that face on you. Be quiet. <laughs> what do I owe you? Five dollars. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I'll see you again. Oh, yes. He'll probably come in for a pose. He seemed to enjoy himself. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> What shall we do now? There is one thing I hadn't done. I've never been to see one of them moving picture shows. Never? No. Well, come on. Let's go do that. You sure? Of course. It's the marvelous... Come in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's playing? Something called... Sketching for Sweetheart, I think. Oh, hello. Two tickets, please, to see Sketching for Sweetheart. That'll be 50 cents, please. Okay. What's it about? I have no idea. Thank you again. Come on in. A mystery awaits. <laughs> Thank you.
It's just incredible. It's like they're really there. Hey, I'm trying to watch this. John Marston. What are you doing with that arm? I thought you might be cold. John. <laughs> That's women for you. Don't you dare, John Marston. What? I'm watching. Please. Shh. <laughs> Looks so real. It's not. Don't be such a sour puss. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Shh. <laughs> oh my. Is it over? I think so. Come on. Be seen. All right. <laughs> we better get home. <laughs> oh. We never get out. The farm will be fine.
farm. I love hearing that. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? Sure. Why, you finally gonna drown yourself? In a manner of speaking, I guess I am. <laughs> Happily so. You're acting real strange. <laughs> no, I'm not. Come on. You're a silly man, John Marston. What, a, what about Jim Milton? Oh, he's even worse. Let me help you in. <laughs> like I said, mighty strange. I like to row. <laughs> Since when? You can hardly swim. <laughs> I don't plan on capsizing. I wonder whose boat this is. It don't matter. We'll have it back. I hope they don't think we're... They won't think anything. Don't think. We're borrowing it. I hope it don't got leaks or nothing. She's seaworthy, okay? <laughs> Relax. Look around. All I can see is a strange man rowing. I thought he was John Marston, but now I suspect he's been replaced with an imposter. Don't look at me. Look at the sky. The water. <laughs> okay, I'm looking. <sighs> Here's good. Ain't it pretty? What is it? Will you... Will you marry me? <laughs> Get up, I am married to you. No, I mean proper, in front of God. You serious? I got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. You serious? It would make me very happy if you would... We've lived a lot of lives. Let's just live this one from now on. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I, I never, I didn't know what mattered to me. It didn't, but now it does. If you think this is dumb, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you silly man, and kiss me. <laughs>
Francis Brea rescued. Sir Galsworthy put down his sword and, and took up his plow. He became the greatest apple farmer in the kingdom. Men used to travel all across Europe to eat his remarkable apples. But deep inside, he missed the dragons almost as much as they gave him nightmares. He and Princess Freya raised seven happy children, and none of them ever knew that their father had once been the greatest warrior in the world. The end. I love it. I truly love it. Abigail, dear, what's for dinner? <laughs> what's for dinner? Away with you, you no-good parasite. You cook. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> John, come out here. Hey, John. Abigail. Sadie. Charles. I found him. I found Micah. No. I got a lead. One of his boys wanted for murdering a woman. Been seen drinking in strawberry. If we can get to him, he'll lead us to Micah. But I gotta go now. You coming? No. He's not coming. I will. That's your business. His business is here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll ride with you. No, I'm... <sighs> I'm begging you. No! You risk all this? For what? For Micah? All this? All this wouldn't exist if it weren't for Arthur, Sadie, and all the folks that fell. If I let him go, this place ain't no more real than... than one of Jack's dragons. I'm begging you. And I'm begging you to understand. This is it. This is... Please. Please try to... <laughs> I ain't got no other choice. Keep an eye on the place for me. Of course. Please! <laughs> Let's go kill this son of a bitch, then. Come on. Let's get to Strawberry before he dries out. Which one of Mike's boys is it? Cleet. Which one was Cleet? The big one or the little one? The one with the rat face. My memory is they both had rat faces. The little bastard with the rat face, then. Him? <laughs> yeah, he'll talk. You're damn right he will. We owe this to Arthur. You think Arthur cared about revenge? I'm not so sure. Especially not at the end. He cared about stopping Micah, and that's what we're doing. I hear you're taking bounties now. And I hear you're building houses. Mm-hmm. When I'm not killing old friends. Well, nowadays I'm almost always killing old friends. Old friends and new. Ain't that right, John? Seems that way. You interested in bounty hunting, Charles? My last assistant <laughs> was put out to pasture. No, that work ain't for me. I, uh, I think I might get out of here. Go north, Canada, find a woman, start a family, if I can. I see how that life, well, I'd like to try it. Woo hey, John, you've given him the family book. I thought we would have inspired him to a life of celibacy and isolation. Hmm. You know, I've been thinking I might get out of here, too. Down to South America, maybe? It's wild, but less mean, I guess. I'd run protection for a gold mine, or take up with a handsome revolutionary. I don't know. Something. See something else, at least. That all sounds good. Yeah, it all sounds real fine. But we got some business to take care of first. Strawberry. 
This is it. We leave our horses by the bridge, then we find it. Whoa! Oh God, John, Charles, you take the other side of the river. I'll stay on this boat. If we meet in the middle, we would have covered most of the town. If he's here, we'll get him. Okay, let's go. Sure, Sadie. With pleasure. Now, where's Micah? Micah! Micah! I ain't seen you! No, 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 no! Hey, 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 hey! Anything short of killing will do! Stop! 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 Come on! Lay into him! Wait! 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 Make him talk, John! Oh, 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 oh. Where is he? Where's Micah? I don't know. I ain't seen him. We fell out. Uh, you know what? I'm bored of this. Let's hang the bastard. What? Good idea. Oh, wait, hold on. Bring him up to the gallows. No oh, shit, no! Here we go. <laughs> Don't dig your heels in. <laughs> I, I oh. You heard the lady. Get up there. Stop, now you stay away. Move! Listen to me! No, Keep no. moving! Come here, you bastard! Move it! Come on, move! Here, I want you stood right here! Still! All right, string the no-good murdering bastard up. Let's try this again. Where's Mike? Where's Mike? I already told you I ain't seen him. You lie. It ain't my fault. He tried to kill me. Where's Micah? Go. Talk. Or I'll pull this lever. Talk. No, 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 no. Stop. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. He, he's up in the mountains. I think he's, he's up in Mount Hagen. He got a whole gang now. Bad man, doing bad things. I, I tried to stop him from murdering that little girl. We fell out. Honest. Please, I'm, I'm one of the good guys. Hang him. No, no. You got what you came for. Uh, I can't do it, Sadie. Not like this. Thank you. Thank you, John. No, 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 no. Come on now, you won't ever see me again. I said hang him. <sighs> As you wish. Oh, Jesus. Piece of shit. Well done. Let's move on. Come on, a little rat said Mount Hagen. Come on, lady. It's a long ride. Let's finish this. Naka, we're coming for you. Yeah!
This pass will take us up into the high mountains. Lead the way. There's an old watchtower up there they might be used for. For a camp. You're okay. You're okay? I will be. But go on. Go on now. Move fast. Look. Boom, John. I don't want to leave him. Hey, they know we're coming now. I will be fine. I'll follow you up. I just... I just can't move fast. <laughs> okay. Come on, John. Shit.
20 guys. Keep it by me until we find that tower Charles talked about. Okay. You don't look too fine. Come on! You're bleeding pretty bad. Ain't nothing. You should sit down. I'm fine. You're dying. I'll be fine. Just sit. It's okay. I, I ain't dying. I ain't. I hope not. I ain't dying. Just go get him. I'll be fine. I just need to rest. Uh, okay. Charles, stay with her. Charles, you worry about yourself. Uh, I'll be up look there who it is. in a minute. Ain't you got a habit of just no. What I got to take care of, sure. Just you left, is it? Yeah. Just. Look who it is. Ain't you got a habit of just showing up? But I got something to take care of, sure. Just you left, is it? Yeah. Just me. I was kind of hoping I could kill you. Likewise. I got something to take care of, sure. Just you left, is it? Yeah. Just me. I was kind of hoping I could kill you. Likewise. Oh. Joe! We gotta be close!
Hello, Scarface. Did you miss me? Not much. Been a few years. <laughs> How's that, uh, mm, whore of yours? She's good. <laughs> Didn't reckon I should waste my time killing you. But I felt different. So it seems. Well, maybe after all this is over, I'll go pay her a call. Hmm? And the boy. Whatever you say. Got more men coming, John! You should run away! I look forward to being Just like old times. <laughs> Come on. You turn around and start walking. You got me. Just like old times. Hmm? All manner of folk paying social calls. Hello, son. Mrs. Adler. It's been quite a while. Now, John. Now. What were you saying? What are you doing here, Dutch? Same as you, I suppose. Dutch and I are teaming up once more. We got money. We got dreams. <laughs> Join us, John. Join us. Let her go. No, I can't do that, John. Dutch. Dutch, come on now. <laughs> You shot at me, son. You started. You betrayed me. I could say the same as you. I was trying to do my best. You? You just cared for yourself. I think differently. Join us. Join us, John. <laughs> Let her go! She ain't well! I don't want to kill you, John. Arthur saved my life. More than once. Arthur's been dead a long time. This is a new century. Dutch. Dutch. We all did our best for you. Ain't our fault. Things turned out the way they did. Dutch, killing me won't solve nothing. Put down your gun, Marston. Say something, Dutch. Say something. I ain't got too much to say no more. You shot me. <laughs> you shot me pretty good. <laughs> Thank you.
You okay? Fine. You're crazy. I hope so. Help me up. Uh, Let's go get Charles. There's money. Lots of money. In the cabin. It's black water. I'll go see. Hurry up. I got a wedding I want to go to. Abigail. It's all over. <laughs> I'm going to where the sun burns in the heat stays in come and come away by my side right here to where the river turns to dust and god is never rush come away by my side right here red i love you and the Seemed to make sense when Brother Santo said oh, one more run be enough. I'm gonna be enough. Money for everything, silver toed boots and kerosene. Uh -huh. Come and lay by my side right here. Red, I love you. Oh, the buzzing thick and the choking I can't stay no more Come and lay by my side Right here Red, I need you in the world When I see you behind the glass I forget that I'm in the cage They bring me to Sunday Mass But it never the rage, red, I love you and the world. Seven months gone and seven years to go, red, I can't stay no more. Come and lay by my side right here, red, I love you and the world. Red, I need you. In the world All right, John Marson. Since you bought this millstone around our necks, we'd better try and keep this place going. I paid our debts with that money I... Uh... I don't want to talk about that money. And no more that... It's over, Abigail. I'm sure. Then get to work on this ranch you own, raising your boy. Yes, ma'am. Are you being sarcastic, John Marston? Me? <laughs> Never. Good. Anyway... I thought you liked this place. No, John, I don't like it. I love it. It's home.
ஓகே கைஸ் ரெட் டெட் ரெடம்ஸ் இதோடு முடிஞ்சது நம்ம நெக்ஸ்ட் கேமில் சந்திக்கலாம்